Hi, today video is about partial shading of PV using 4 PV array and MPPT technique that name is part of an observe. So let's start from the PV side. So here we have 4 PV array. You can see it here. This is the PV1234 and they have provided an irradiance with different data. The first one provide an irradiance 1000, then the second one 800, then 500 and then 300. Similarly, we have provided the temperature 25 to all MPPT, uh, so to all PV system. The rating of the PV array can be determined by its internal parameters such as open circuit voltage and short circuit current. But if you want to know the graphical re representation of the PV array then you have to go here. Here array for 1000 watt and specified temperature. They will show you the irradiance data with different temperatures. Here you can see that we have a radiance data for around 1500 kW PV array. This is for one specific module with the 1000 radiance, 500 and then 100 radiance. These are the voltage and current parameter of the PV array has mentioned here. Basically when floating a PV array output then we have to measure the Vmax and Imax. Vmax is Vmp and Imax is Imp. Here is the irradiance for the second PV array. The same rating is has for the first one. The only difference is that we have to change the irradiance for every specific irradiance for every specific PV array so that we can observe the partial shading of a PV system. Like as I mentioned that the first one will be day 1000 with a complete radiance then the remaining is under partial condition the first one is very small partial shading then the second one is half partial shading and then the last one is almost third quarter partial shading here we have used current measurement to measure the input current and here we have added the Voltage measurement to, uh, to measure the output uh, input voltage of PV that goes to MPPT. Here is the MPPT for top and observe. Here we can find the input power of PV system by multiplying the current and voltage. Also, uh, here boost converter is used to boost the voltage of the input from 200 to 400 because we can use 400 as an input to an inverter if in case we want to add an inverter to operate an AC load. The NPVT algorithm already we discussed in our re re report. So I think uh, that doesn't need to be explained here. I already provided the flowchart of the MPPT to you in the document. So here is the load. The load is basically calculated by dividing V max divided by I max. V max is the maximum power of MPPT and 
the maximum voltage of MPPT divided by maximum current of MPPT. Here the current measurement and voltage measurement is used to measure the output current from the boost converter and then multiply it here has a product to get the output from the PV uh, from the boost uh, converter. Then we use the efficiency control so that we can control uh, we use the efficiency display to measure the input and output power and then find their efficiency. So let's run it so that we can observe all the outputs. As you can see that for 15 kilowatt PV system it gave us around 1.47 which is equal to 14.7 kilowatt let's click on this you can see here that it's almost gave us 15, 15 kilowatt this is the PV output voltage from the PV array and here is the current you can observe here that the fluctuation in current is very high so we need to minimize this also there is some a little bit fluctuation we will also need to optimize this as well After measuring the, the input voltage and current, the MPPT generate a duty signal that we use as a boost converter triggering signal. Without this signal, boost converter will not work. So here you can observe that our system is very efficient. It gives us around 95 to 96% efficiency. And you can see here that we are almost get around 14 plus kilowatt power. The power is a bit small as compared to the PV power because there are some component loss included as well. These are the output voltage and current from the boost converter if you see that that there is no fluctuation and the waveform is very smooth for both current and voltage as well as for forward the reason for getting such a stable output is this MPPT that always operate at maximum power point so this is all related to this video you may explore it further i will share this model with you thank you